Answer the yes or no. 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 Answer the I yes didn't even no. hear the yes or no because I was talking over you. Look, do you think it's going to be the case that that's going to be informative? This is going to be the third time that I've answered the question with no. Sorry. Do you like not listen? Okay, so you're not, you haven't actually clarified the question. So you, you haven't actually clarified the concept. So you haven't answered my question. Great, I mean. actually agree. I haven't clarified the concept. You're That's why I asked you what part do you want clarification oh, on? Do you want clarification on what is? Do you want clarification on what independent means? Do you want clarification answer my on question? Is? Yes, just answer the question. What do you mean by sense and independent reason? Sorry, again, I don't know what you're asking me. You don't know what? Wait, so why did you try to no fucking idea. answer it? What part are you confused on? Do you want to know what a stance is? Why would you try to answer it if you don't even fucking know what I'm talking about? I don't understand what you're asking me. What do you mean by stance independent reason? Not all together. What Are you going to ask me the same question and I'm going to give you the same answer for the it's fourth time? I'm going to answer. Holy I stand independent reason. I mean a reason that stands independent. Do you think that fucking helps at all? Just tell me what it is. I, I don't know what you're asking me. What part are you confused on? This is going to be the fifth time I've asked you. I told you. Do you, you want to know what the word reason you know means? Do you want to know what the word stance means? Do you want to know, know what, what the word definition means? Do you know what a definition is? Tell me what Actually, a stance yeah, independent I'm pretty reason is. Yeah. Find that. Jesus Christ. Find stance independent reason. We're all fucking waiting. Uh, yeah, sure. So a reason is going to be a reason is going to be. Some I understand sort of, it. Okay. <laughs> a reason is going to be. Yeah, reason is going to be a thing that's going to be motivating to like a rational actor. Uh, stance independent just means it's like uh, independent or not contingent on stances. Okay, motivating to rational actor. And then what's the other thing? Uh, yeah, when I say stance independent, it means something is not contingent on stances. Okay, so you're saying that. There's this okay, yeah, okay. So what does it mean for something to be motivating to an actor but not dependent on the stances? Yeah, well, it's just gonna be something that's I don't understand. What do you what are you asking? What do you want clarification on there? I just really don't know what that's saying. You don't know what that's saying? You don't know what it means for something. Do you know what it means for something? Wait, wait, we'll 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 do some semantics on the stances. Do you know what it means for something to be motivating? I'm not even clear on that. You don't know what it means for something to be motivating? I don't think so. Okay. Um, yeah, Maybe it's going to be like something. Yeah, it's going to be like something that's going to cause somebody to uh, act in a certain way. Does that make sense? So something objective that causes someone to act in a certain way. That's all you're saying. No, no. So, no, so to be clear, I, I'm just going to be no? super clear on. I'm just going to be super clear on what I said. I didn't say the word objective, right? So when I'm talking about motivation, uh, it's just going to be something that causes somebody to act in a certain way, right? The stance independent not mean objective. Oh, stance independent. See, I thought we were asking about motivation. Uh, yeah, stance independent. You could probably interpret that to mean objective. Um, yeah, Wait, you just like said that. the conjunction of it, right? It's a reason that stance independent. So yeah, that's yeah, of be course. You were asking me. You were asking me specifically clear. what the word motivation meant, and I was giving you an account of what motivation meant. So yeah, sure. So yeah, stance independent. Uh, stance independent like reasons are going to be things that motivate somebody that are stance independent. Yeah, they're not going to be contingent on stances. I don't know if I would right, use the word objective because saying that they're something. not contingent on like the existence of actors is really weird, but yeah, they're not right. contingent on stances. Okay, okay. And by motivating, to be clear, all you mean is just cause something, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. So there could be, say, uh, say suppose that like no one has any feelings or stances at all, but they're still people or whatever, right? And I don't know what it means I don't know, for someone like, to be volcano, a person not having any feelings or well, stances. It feels like like just a suppose that yeah, I'm not sure if that would be the definition, but look, just suppose that there's yeah, there's a society and like a volcano erupts or something and kills everyone. That would be a uh -oh. stance independent reason, right? Because that causes something. Well, I don't know. I don't know what sort of actions that's causing. Could you guide me to that? They're all dead. Sorry. Yeah. What sort of actions is that causing? In what way are they acting differently? Oh, you meant something different when you said motivating. Because all you said, to be, to no. be clear, we got clear that be, all you meant was cause To be clear, what right? I said, the, the specific definition that I gave was it's going to cause a rational I'm actor to act in a certain way. Across, so. Yeah, like that, to be clear, I, all I said was it's going to cause a rational actor to act in a certain way. If you misinterpreted that, that's fine, but that's what I said. So are we clear on that? Turns? Still not sure. So you're saying that there's an objective? Yeah, but when you say act in some way, to be clear, you did say cause something, right? Originally, and now you're changing uh, that. Yeah, it's not cause something. It's causing. It's a thing that's going to be causing a rational actor to act in a certain way. This is going to be the fourth time I said it. Do you understand that? I'm still not sure. Okay, what's like, confusing instance, about that? Do you, okay, let's go over well, it word by word. Do you know what the word causing like, means? There's going to be stance independent things. Do you know what the word that causing are causing means? humans to do things. 
turns, that turns. Let's just go over it word by word. You said you were confused about it. Let's just clear well, it up. I'm trying to, you know I don't know if you I don't know if you got this, but I'm trying to point oh, out that God. there may be stance independent things that are on traditional like conceptions not considered moral, but uh, are stance independent on, and cause things. Uh, yeah, what sort of things do you want to talk about here? Yeah, so for example, like the volcano thing. Uh, what about the volcano thing? What actions is that causing? It's, it's causing, well, okay, well, it, say that it causes someone to run or something, like to run away from the volcano. That causes an action, right? Uh, yeah, what about it? And that stance independent? The volcano is like independent of the stances? Uh, yeah, it's independent of stances. Right, so would that be like some moral re reason? No, it's going to be like a specific subset of stance independent reasons. Oh, I don't know what that is. Sorry, do you know what a subset is? I think so. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you know what I mean when I say the word specific? Uh, yeah, I think you're talking about like proper subsets, right? I don't know what you mean when you say the word proper there. I'm just talking about subsets. So all, all I mean when I say subsets is there's going to be a, a set of things or like a category of things, right? And within that set, there's going to be another set of things or like another category of things, which doesn't include the whole set. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's going to mm -hmm. be a set of stance independent reasons. Right. And then there's going to be a subset of stance independent reasons that are going to be the sorts of things that people talk they're about. They're going to be moral, right? Yeah. OK. Yeah. And then there's going to be non-moral and moral. OK, I see. So. OK, so OK, so you're saying that people are using moral terms and uh, with the stance independent. Could you define out like what you mean when they like what's the difference between like a moral sense and a non-moral sense? Uh, well, moral sense, again, this is going to be like a semantic thesis on well, what do most people mean when they're talking about morals, right? And what I think most people mean when they're talking about morals is uh, this specific subset of stance-independent reasons that are related to, like, valence, right? Um, like, good and bad experience. Oh, what is that? What is good and bad experience? Are you talking about, like, pleasure versus displeasure? Um, yeah, you can interpret that way. Um, I don't know that those terms have a lot of baggage, so I just kind of use the terms good and bad experience. They're, like, experiences that uh, rational actors want. They're experiences that rational actors don't want. Um, Kind of consider that like good and bad. How is that? Well, okay. Well, let's get clear. Like, what do you mean by sense independent? Are you just saying uh, it's not dependent that. on the the? Well, to be clear, that may be sense dependent. That's maybe the, I'm not quite sure if I would commit to that, but no. So yeah, it's not going to be sense dependent. Uh, whether whether people are experiencing um, these sorts of like pleasure states. Uh, or whether there's going to be like maximization or minimization of these pleasure states isn't going to be dependent on uh, a stance, right? So uh, we can imagine what, when we talk about like stance uh, dependence, right? Uh, we imagine like, okay, a stance dependent reason might be something like why value something and that's what makes it moral, right? It's going to be that the stance itself is what makes something moral, right? But um, these sorts of things, while I agree they're subjective, I don't think they're like stance dependent, right? Like, right. Yeah. Uh, we can say that despite the fact, despite the fact that I value uh, or I care about, you know, something that isn't these sorts of things, um, you know, that these sorts of things are still going to be the things that are moral, right? So it might be the case that I don't care about these things. And I actually, you know, I, I want to like maximize suffering or whatever, right? Um, but that stance alone isn't going to be ma uh, making maximizing suffering like good. I didn't really follow the, all of that. Okay, well, I we could just like simplify this, I guess, is that um, the stances that people hold about morals uh, aren't going to be the thing that makes something moral. Okay. Oh, okay. And to be clear, when you say stances there, that's just like the attitudes of the speaker or something, right? Yeah, yeah, like attitudes. And you can, we can cash out attitude in terms of like, well, like an example of an attitude would be like pleasure or displeasure, right? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be, I'd be so, comfortable calling that an attitude. Okay, sort well, of. okay. It, then, that's a lot of baggage, yeah. Okay, yeah, but, the, and then in what sense is it stance independent? It's, it's dependent on the stances, isn't it? Um, no, no, no. So, uh, if we call these things, we're not calling these things, uh, or we can call these things like stances if we want. Right. But again, these are going to be like uh, intersubjective almost. Right. So I say almost, I mean, that's what they are. So again, it's not going to depend on any particular stance, um, whether a thing is going to be like, moral or not. it's going to depend. Sorry, hold on. It's going to depend on like a larger set. Yes, right? so, so listen, it's going to, uh, again, if we're doing some sort of like utility calculus, right. We're not determining, uh, okay. Or we're not, we're not looking at these stances and saying, um, okay, is one stance going to imply that something is moral, right? Um, all we're doing is, all we're doing is we're looking at, um, we're looking at like a, a calculation of stances, right? Uh, if we can calculate these things like mathematically, like cardinally or ordinarily, whatever, right? Um, that's what we're looking at. That calculation itself isn't stance dependent. Why not? What do you mean it just isn't? 
That calculation what? doesn't depend. Yeah, that calculation doesn't depend. I thought on you just signed off things. on. Wait, I thought you just signed off when I asked you. Are by attitude? Well, by stance, all you mean is like the attitudes um, that someone has, and then by attitudes, an example of that would be pleasure, displeasure, and then you said yes. So it seems like that would be stance dependent. Unless no, if you're no, just no. like so again, again, a, a specific. Uh, hold on, hold on. A specific attitude of be of being pleasurable or like displeasurable. That thing is going to be like uh, quote unquote a stance. Like I'm cool. I'm cool with calling that a stance, even though that has a lot of baggage. Like uh, even if we do that, yeah. um, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily. And, that's what, and, wait, and to be clear, clear on, real quick, to be clear, turns, 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 to be clear, turns, turns, wait, to be clear. Turns, wait, that's that's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. Look, I don't need to blabber again. I don't need to blabber again. Holy shit! Look, so here I'll actually just finish. Right, so just because we're not looking at any sort of particular stance to determine whether something is wrong, right? Oh we're looking God. at a calculation. Yeah, we're looking at a calculation of how much or how little there is of this thing in the world, right? How does so that change it anything? Could be the, it could be the case. It could be the case. It could be the case that uh, if we look at, we could take any any other sorts of stances. I, I could just be more charitable to your view and, and go to what I think the, the critique should be for you here, which would be, okay, well, uh, would it make sense to say, uh, you know, uh, whether this is going to be, you know, true of what most how people How does that calculation would it make, make sense any difference? Say, hold on, hold on. How does that Sorry, make any difference? Help you out here. Would it make sense how to does say that make any like, difference? oh, oh, is it? Oh, oh, we would use like moral Why language to refer to like maximizing the stance or belief um, that like shit. God exists, right? And if more people believe it, you know, that's going to be like a good thing, right? Even that's not going to be stance dependent, right? Um, because the calculation itself there isn't going to depend on any particular stance. Like, I, it's just not. Okay, for, for, are you done? For it to be stance dependent, if, for it to be stance dependent, there has to be a stance no, about it. It's not done is, yet. Okay, we'll give him like another minute. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks, sir. Are you I done really now? Appreciate that. I think if you, yeah, I think if you listen, you'll probably understand. So, yeah, okay, it's yeah. Not so, be on any particular stance, okay, the stance we'll about it is going to be the thing that makes it moral. Okay. Are you done now? I'm done now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, so to be clear, uh, how does that calculation make any difference? Make any difference in what? What are you asking? Whether or not it's stance dependent or not stance dependent. Uh, sorry, because it's not dependent on any particular stance, right? We're That's not, just repeating the claim. We're, That's just repeating yeah, the claim. Yeah, I'm not interested yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. How does it so, make a difference? Listen, I, I, can get, I can give like a more in-depth exp explanation if it's <laughs> confusing. So, so listen, uh, again, like there's there's no particular stance of which is depending on. If you want to point out one for me, that would be great. Um, but you just keep saying, okay, there's like these stances that exist, right? You signed off on it. For the calculation. Right? But we're not, sorry, sorry. There's no stance in which it's depending on what, 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 uh, what, what a moral, else moral in thing is depend on. Sorry, 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 turns, sorry, turns, sorry, turns. Sorry, turns. <laughs> what a moral or immoral thing is going to depend so on. Funny. What a moral or immoral thing is going to depend on is going to be oh, the calculation of these stances. The calculation itself is not a stance. Wait, sorry. Do you think the calculation itself is a stance? Well, that's not what was said originally. Wait, sorry. I'm just asking. That's like a yes or no question. Do you think the calculation itself is a stance? I'm not sure yet. Okay. Well, if you're not sure about that, you should be agnostic on whether this is going to be like stance dependent. Yeah, that's that's why I'm saying I'm asking why does it make a difference when you say that um, that a stance is just an attitude and an attitude is an example of that is just pleasure or displeasure. Yeah, because and an objective. Thesis, yeah, because an objective. Wait, objective fact, your thesis an objective reduces. Fact is not an attitude. Why does it keep interrupting me? And your thesis yeah, reduces because you're to saying pleasure something that's retarded. I'm trying to clarify it. For then you. why is it going to be the case that that's not stance dependent? Holy shit! I'll do it one more time. Okay, so again, uh, just because there are like stances involved, I like I don't understand. This is like what retard people do. Like they like oh like um, oh, the word stances is being used here. Okay. It must be what do you think? Actually, I have a I have a what do you think Hold on, hold on. Turns, 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 turns. You, you, you ask for an explanation. I'm giving one. You ask for an explanation. I'm giving one. So again, again, again. All we're looking at is a calculation. All we're looking at is a calculation of these things, right? So again, it's going to be how much or how little of it there is in the world, right? And that's going to that's going to determine what's moral, right? Is how much or how little of it there is it's not going to depend on any particular stance because how much or how little of it there is is not a stance that's just an objective fact about the world yeah i can agree on that if that's what you mean by moral realism so we agree and you're not really saying much but the thing is yeah but the thing is you specifically said that um that for a stance it's just it's going to be an attitude and you know the examples you sign off on that i don't see how would that not be like to be clear, when you say dependent there, like what do you think that means? Uh it's gonna be like contingent. I'm sorry, what? Uh it's gonna be like contingent. Do you do you understand what, what I'm saying with that word? I mean, that just sounds like some modal talk. I don't know why you're interested in seeing that. Oh, because that's that's like uh what I mean, right? Oh oh you just mean like a conjunction of P 
or sorry, a conjunction of possibly be P and a conjunction of possibly not P, right? Uh, no, that's not what I mean. Actually, maybe what I mean. I don't know. I don't. I'm not using modal logic in like some formal sense here. Oh, okay, all I mean well, when I say contingent. Not, all yeah. I mean when I say contingent. Yeah, all I mean when I say contingent is that for one thing to exist, uh, the other thing has to exist, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So for that calculation to exist, do the stances of pleasure and displeasure have to exist? Nope. Oh. Oh, yeah. If you say like it's a net zero. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. So I think I understand the thesis now. Do you have like an empirical argument? For this thesis? Because you made an empirical claim to begin with. Uh, no, I don't have an empirical argument, no. Uh, so you, you say you like don't have an argument for that? Okay, I don't know how that's interesting then. You made like oh. an empirical claim that that's what most people meant. Well, to be clear, I mean, yeah, like I don't have, just because I don't have an empirical argument doesn't mean it's not something that we can like uh, uh, choose to disagree on or agree on, right? So listen, if you agree that your original objection that these things are going to be stance dependent, we could just like concede that and get rid of that. And we agree that they're stance independent now, right? Um, like all, all that's left is like this sort of empirical claim about whether this is what people really mean. Right. And, you know, there are probably like studies I can point you to or whatever, but I don't know. I'm yeah, not go ahead. Yeah. That anymore. So I think, I think I'm good. I think it's over. Oh, okay. Well for the, uh, objection bit, the, well, it seemed like what was going on is you were saying that the stance is, um, just, okay. When you say like something is moral or non-moral, you're talking about valence, which is something that's good or bad. Uh, which is reducible to like pleasure or displeasure, that kind of thing. Well, and then you sign off that that would be sense dependent. And then it seemed like you changed the view, which is fine. No, like so if you're you just wrong. modify so the I'll view, explain that's it one fine. more time. Hey, so I'll explain it one more time because I it's I agree that you kind of misunderstand what's going on here. Um, but I'll I'll explain why you're wrong. So yeah, I never said this thing was like stance dependent. All I said was that the sorts of things that we talk about uh, when we talk about like pleasure or displeasure, or, like good or bad valence, wait, like wait we could consider these stances and I'm know. totally cool with considering these yeah. things stances. Uh, the fact that we consider these stances doesn't make the view stance dependent. I never took the view that the view was stance dependent. Like, I don't know why you're arguing that. Oh, I, I never said that you took that view. You said, you said that I said that these things were stance dependent and it seems like so I, I changed meant, my view. That's these what you were said stance. Word word. Well, that they're stances. Okay, pleasure well, you didn't say that. Okay, if you want to clarify what you or change what you said, sorry, that would be great. So I actually agree with you now. I did say those things were stances, not that it's like relevant. Okay, so are we good? Uh, I yeah, obviously I don't have like um like a bunch of studies I can send you, but um, yeah, maybe I could uh, get back to you on that. Do you agree your original kind of well, objection? Well, the, the, the next thing here? is if that's all you mean by something like good, then I'm not even sure I would have an issue with it. It just seems like some trivial view. Like for instance, some views say that just like by good they just mean like some evolution process or something like that and that's all they mean by good yeah, so or, or you can say like by good i just mean sure it's, a, it's a semantic thesis, i would agree right? that like, that's all, all i'm trying to do is i'm trying to capture what people generally talk about in like common parlance when they talk about morals uh and that seems to yeah, be what you, they talk about. yeah and i'm not sure what the empirical data for that claim would be yeah so i think this is going to be the third maybe four times i've said it i don't have like empirical data on it right like this is the this is going to be like a set of anecdotal experiences that i have that lead me to have like inductive reason to believe this i mean then there's like nowhere to go if you just don't have yeah i agree that's actually what i said like word for word like three times it's going to be the fourth time that i've agreed we should probably just end the conversation now all right uh ladies and gentlemen uh in, in the chat uh i tagged it you can vote on who you think won in this discussion um or if we all lost who knows yeah, I think that's got to be the answer.